here's how Pokemon Go just made it even easier to play at home. Folks, unless you're a medical professional or working in an essential job right now like so many millions of Americans out there, chances are you're probably stuck at home and you might be going a little bit stir-crazy while in quarantine. Well, I bet you never considered that you could be playing Pokemon Go right now. Remember Pokemon Go? That game from 2016 that actually made us all get out of our homes for a change, hang out in public, and be nice to each other? Well, the folks behind Pokemon Go are making it easier than ever to play while maintaining a respectful social distance so you can play Pokemon Go at home. Pokemon Go developers Niantic have been reconfiguring the game so that it's safer to play right now. They've taken steps like postponing social events that would have encouraged public gatherings, which are necessary to avoid if we want to halt the spread of coronavirus. But Pokemon trainers were running into an issue. It was easier to find a 24-pack of toilet paper than it was to get Pokemon to wander through their living room. But Niantic had a solution. Earlier in the month, Niantic offered a bundle of 30 incense, the item used to lure more Pokemon to a specific area for the low, low price of one Pokecoin. Unfortunately, this seemed to work out a little too well as players were running out of the most essential item of all, Pokeballs. That's right, they could lure Pokemon to where they live, but they couldn't catch them. They were going through Pokeballs faster than I went through my quarantine snacks. And to make matters worse, players couldn't go to nearby Pokestops and they couldn't hit their weekly walking goals to get necessary items. Thankfully, unlike Rorschach, Niantic heard our cries of despair and looked down and said, yes. Fans on Twitter threw out a bunch of suggestions for the game moving forward, and Niantic head honcho John Hankey responded, tweeting, working on more adjustments. And now we're starting to see the first wave of said adjustments, so let's break down how they're turning Pokemon Go into Pokemon Go Back Inside. Now let's start with the biggest issue of all, the global Pokeball shortage. Now, similar to the earlier incense bundles that were offered, there's a new bundle on sale in the game right now, 100 Pokeballs for one Pokecoin. And yes, while this change does technically cost money, it's 100 coins for 99 cents, so you're getting 100 Pokeballs for less than a penny, which isn't that bad of a deal when you break it down. This bundle and the previous incense bundle will be available as one-time purchases until March 30th. And the plan from there is to have weekly rotating bundles that ensure that players have all the various supplies and sundries they need to become the very best like no one ever was. But those weren't the only changes coming to the game. The rest are going to be implemented at the low, low price of absolutely free. And this first one is going to help players who are desperate for Pokeballs. The number of gifts that players can hold in their inventory is being raised to 20. On top of that, the number of gifts that can be opened daily is rising to 30. Plus, gifts will contain more Pokeballs than usual. Also, to encourage players to log on, the first catch of the day will yield three times the experience and Stardust. I mean, what am I going to do with all this Stardust? What am I? That movie from 2007? Now Niantic has said these changes will remain in the game until further notice. All in all, as we adjust to these new habits and life on the inside, it's good to see that game makers like Niantic are looking to make the experience as comfortable and safe for players as possible. But what do you folks think? Are you excited to be able to play Pokemon Go from home? What other changes do you hope to see Niantic implement into Pokemon Go? And what are you playing to pass the time? Let's discuss. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel while you're at it. And if you want to make sure you never miss a new episode, hit that little bell down below. That way you'll be up to date on all the latest news, theories, and rumors in the pop culture world. Stay safe, be healthy, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.